Okay. So Hawkins has written the book Letting Go, and uh, it's an international bestseller now. Uh, and uh, it's one of the. It's now you'll see on list one of the classics of all time. That book is now you know it's, yeah. it's one of the major classics now. It will be, I'm pretty sure. But it has hit that level of status. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have this question, like, how do you do letting go? And I coined the phrase of letting go, feel the feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what I did was, uh, and you can go on Audible and get a lot of his lectures on the Office series, which was he talks about fear and pain. And he describes it far better in the Office series than he does in the book, Letting Go. And he talks about, you know, so energetically, and this is for fear, shame, anger, or even physical illnesses. Physical illnesses like asthma, pain, kidney failure, gout, um, allergies, doesn't really matter. The same process can be used, all of them, to wipe out the energy of separation with all of them. So when all that letting go is for me, very, very simply, and we'll, go, we'll do it later on in the, in the field feelings process, is be with whatever energy is here now and don't label. But that's much more difficult than it sounds mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, the, the one has an addiction to thinking and not, you know, as an addict, I have an addiction to being, th to thinking non-stop, not feeling. And I think you'll find most of society today has that problem as well. You know, they're either looking at the mobile phone, they're watching Netflix series, they're popping donuts in left, right and centre, <laughs> and, and they're talking at 100 miles an hour. Uh, so it's like that thing to be in constant thinkingness and doingness and not feeling. So the field of feelings, which for me is, will take you all the way to enlightenment, Hawking's letting go process for me is a process of enlightenment, which is a 100% confront to the ego which is sit here, don't label anything, and just allow everything to come up and, and release. So that's you know, the most difficult process for the ego, the one thing it does not want to do. Like if I said here, just sit here and let everything come up. It's more subtle than that, because the ego will do everything to be in, the, in a thought and describe and make a story about everything you do. And so you'll be stuck, so to be thinking right now is a resistance to allowing the now. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes. So thinking, if you're making a story or you're in the future, or you're saying, like, I don't like what he's saying, whatever it is, that mentalization is resistance. Yeah, you're, you're, you're resisting the now by being in thought in this split second. So imagine, like, just sitting. And when you sit and stop the addiction to thought, eventually what's going to happen is feelings are going to come up. And you might be you might be unfortunate enough to have already been fear or suffering or asthma or inflammation attacks, in which case it will be obvious the minute you stop labelling and stop watching TV and stop stuffing ice creams down, it will be like an extreme overwhelm of stuff that you don't want to feel. But some people are just very in their head, but even being in your head at 100 miles an hour is an addiction to not feeling. Mm -hmm. So even just don't label and be in the now is very difficult for most people, you know. So you're 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 cutting off the ability, you know. In each moment, you just cut the attention to the thought, and be back here, yeah. So you find that as it'll you know it'll be so rampant to make a story about something, or uh, to go into the future. So, you, so feel the feelings of letting go is stop your addiction to thinking, like really. And Hawkins talks about how you know how the how thoughts emerge in consciousness. Mm -hmm. which I talk about in the feelings, like, you know, there's no thought, and then it's like the glimmer of a th thought emerges in consciousness, and it's not yet in the form stage. It's just pre-form. It's like something wants to make a word, yeah? Something wants to make a word, and then it's off into a whole sentence. Mm -hmm. And he says, catch it, catch it, faster and faster. You know how, like most people are like, had done 300 sentences before they, they catch their in thought and then stop. So you're catching that quicker and quicker and just back. So you're even trying to get to the emergence of thought and cut back to the now. Yep. And then feel the feelings. So it's like, feel the feelings. And he, he does talk about this in some of his stuff. Of It's almost like, now you're not mentalizing, but you're like bringing up everything that's hidden. Because remember, 
that most people are just so repressed that often, and there's so much in their head that if they try and be out of their thoughts, they're frozen. Mm -hmm. So that it's almost like they don't have access. They go, oh, like I'm, I must be Buddha because there's no feelings coming up. It's not that's not probably true. Mm -hmm. It's probably if you, that's, you have to feel, that's subtle. So you feel out the frozenness or the numbness or the dissociation, mm -hmm. and then stuff's going to come out, layer after layer of, fit of uh, the energies. And that's how illnesses, that's how psychosomatic illness, things, that's why, you know, you get bad luck all the time. You know, all this fear that's repressed, all this guilt and the shame that's repressed. And, uh, you know, you're just undoing that. So that is, that, you know, and we'll do that later, but that's the letting go process. Allow yourself to experience and stop the mentalization.